Happy Friday, third graders. Today is lesson five in unit, or I'm sorry, lesson 12 in unit five. And today our I can statement is, I can read thermometers using both Fahrenheit and Celsius scales and estimate temperatures based on different types of weather. So does anybody know what at what temperature does water freeze in Fahrenheit? <clears throat> and if you said 32 degrees, you are right. It is. It's 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And I know you know that that little circle symbol like this means degrees. Um, at what temperature does water boil? In Fahrenheit and you might have already looked over here and noticed it's at 100 oops, sorry 112 degrees Fahrenheit and yes you would definitely um, burn your skin if you had the if um, you had water temperature that hot so let's look at this thermometer and see what else we can notice about it. So the, this left side is all about Fahrenheit. Okay, so the left side is Fahrenheit. The right side is Celsius. So in the United States, we mostly talk about the temperature in Fahrenheit. Um, other countries outside of the United States often look at temperature in Celsius. For the purposes of this page, which is page 375 in your math workbook, we're going to mostly focus on Fahrenheit. So <clears throat> can you see where the zero degrees is on the Fahrenheit side? Well, we know what that feels like because we live in Minnesota. And they made a little um, thought bubble here, and they're saying that minus 10 degrees is a very cold day. And actually, it's so cold that when it's minus 10 degrees or colder, we don't go out on the playground because it's considered too cold. 32 degrees, we just said, is when water freezes. 50 degrees is kind of the temperature that we had um, a lot lately in the spring here. You probably need a light jacket if it's 50 degrees. If it's 70 degrees, you would probably not wear a jacket. Some of you might even decide to put shorts on. Now if it's 104 degrees, it's a very hot day. If it was 104 degrees, I'm pretty sure most of us would either be in a pool or in a lake or maybe try to stay inside where the air conditioning is. So let's go ahead and look at number one and see what they're asking. It says, use the thermometer, circle the best, the better estimate of the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. So you can see this, this person shoveling some snow. Would that be 20 degrees Fahrenheit or 80 degrees Fahrenheit? Hopefully you said that would be 20. Number two, there's a picture of the kids playing in the pool. Is that a 32 degree Fahrenheit day or an 84 degree Fahrenheit day? I'm guessing you said that. And if you're raking leaves and you just have maybe a sweatshirt on, what would the temperature be? And I'm guessing you went with 53 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, um, this, for number four, five, and six, we are going to write the temperature using the degree symbol and Fahrenheit, and then we're going to describe the temperature as either hot, warm, cool, or cold. So if I look at that temperature on that thermometer, I would say that looks like about 72 degrees, and that's considered warm not quite hot. Now looking at number five, hmm, it looks like it's close to zero but it's not zero. I would say that's four degrees. Oops, and I think we're supposed to put Fahrenheit so let's put a Fahrenheit over there. 
is that considered hot, warm, cool, or cold? And most of us would say cold. And number six, it looks like it's between 40 and 50. Remember, we're not doing Celsius right now, only Fahrenheit. So it's between 40 and 50, but if you look, it's a little bit warmer than 45. Hopefully you said 48 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's considered cool. You probably would still want a jacket for that one or at least a sweatshirt. Number seven, the thermometer shows the high temperature on Thursday. What was the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit on Thursday? So if you look really carefully, it's not at 100. You have to count those little tiny marks. So I don't know if I can do that with my stylus here, but there's one mark and it's more right up to here. So that looks like it's two little spots above the 100 for 100 and 102 degrees Fahrenheit. And the next question, <clears throat> on Friday, the high temperature was 25 degrees less than it was on Thursday. What was the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit on Friday? Okay, so the temperature definitely dropped in this scenario. So they're saying on Thursday it was 102 degrees and the temperature dropped by 25 degrees. So we have to find out the difference. And the way you can find out the difference is to subtract. Two minus five, you can't do that, so you need to go next door, make this a nine, make this a 12. 12 minus five is seven. Nine minus two is seven. So on Friday, the temperature was 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's a couple questions I'd like you to think about. What would you want to be doing if the temperature was 100, 102 degrees? So maybe just kind of in your brain say, you'd maybe want to be swimming, you'd maybe want to be um, in a lake, you'd maybe want to stay inside, where it's some, there's some air conditioning. Okay, the second question I wanted to ask you, um, what if the temperature was about 30 degrees Fahrenheit? What would that day look like outside? So you might say there might be snow on the ground, I might go sledding, I might wanna stay in because it's too cold. Okay. Okay, here we are on page 376. The first question I want you to consider is, at what temperature does water freeze in Celsius? So here is the Celsius side of the um, thermometer. And Celsius, in Celsius, water is going to freeze at zero degrees Celsius. Next question, at what temperature does water boil in Celsius? And you maybe notice this right up here at the top of the page. It's at 100 degrees Celsius. What I'd like you to do is to use the thermometer and circle the better estimate, estimate of the temperature in degrees. So you're gonna work through this page while only looking at the Celsius side of the thermometer. When you're finished, you can check your answers in Schoology.